welcome back to another episode of World War Selection. In today's battle, we've got Excalibur versus Arrayer. Arrayer. Yeah, got that right. Let's take a look at the map. We've got this funky, funky, funky ass map going on here. A lot of sea, a lot of fish. On the top right, Excalibur. Bottom left. Arrow and he's straight away getting his pits, his huts down. Load of trees. Let's see how he will build. I got a nice little warehouse to get the fish as well, and then not much after that except for the one over here. Oh, look at all this fish! Just two alligators to deal with, and I am blessed with enough fish to do what the hell I want to do with. Oh look, there's some more over here. Oh yes, my little iron. Forgot about that. Nice bit of iron. Iron here, iron here, and then I've got all this forest here and food, extra food. I'm alright. I'm, I'm happy with this spot. Um, down here. His trees got his big bush right next to him. I mean, he's just gonna just be planting warehouse, 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 warehouse. He doesn't have to think about moving anywhere. It's set for him. It is absolutely set. So he's iron. Not too bad. Quite close. Got one up the top. And got one over here at the bottom. And then I guess this is going to be the middle one. Because we both got three each. And that being the one we have to fight for. And it's a shitty copper one, unfortunately. Right, let's speed this thing up a bit. Get my pits down. Get my pits down. There's no room. Absolutely no room. It sucks. I think I put my temple here because I wanted the next to the iron. Trying not to build anything there. I'm trying to find places to put my huts. And meanwhile, my man over here, the bottom in the yellow. Make sure you know it's the yellow. Getting his temple up. He's taking. He's going for an eco build. Eco build? Tech build. He doesn't wanna he doesn't wanna play the game. He doesn't wanna go and kill animals and get food. He's lazy, he just wants to go he wants to go to the supermarket and get food. That's what he wants to do. He just wants to go to the supermarket. No, he doesn't even want to go to the supermarket. He's gonna have a delivery done. Supermarket delivery. Hmm. Lazy. Straight away getting his iron. Oh look at this. Horses. He's going horses, but the warriors are on the way. Temples up. Realize this is going to be a long distance, so there's no need to, to stay in Stone Age any longer. Now tech up and get to the enemy's base. How many workers has he got? He must have quite a bit. 44 versus 36. Not too shabby. Not too shabby, my friend. Is he still pumping more? Yeah, yeah he is. He's from 46 now. He's on 46. And I'll probably max that at 60. Still trying to get to his base. It's been eight minutes there. Oh, come on, man. What, what is this? What is this attack? It's like, get everything prepared before I get there with the warriors. Right, I see, I see the, I see, the, I see these. I, I, I'm thinking I was there early enough to kill, kill the stables before you upgraded. But no, no, that was not the case. I should have just went straight for his workers, I guess. But it's still good to get to take it down the stable because it does take a long time to build uh, horses. Countdown on it is just ridiculous. 65 seconds. Damn. And then it builds like, what, really quickly? <laughs> uh, so, because he didn't kill the mammoths. Hang on a minute. So we can eat a mammoth, but we can't eat a tiger. How does that make sense? That makes no sense. Who eats mammoths anyway? You've lost your whole year. You killed the mammoth. 
Not much meat. Put it in the freezer. Sorted. But it tastes like lamb. Like lamb. Back to this. I'm gonna kill some workers. Stop him from getting his iron so he doesn't upgrade too soon. How far? Oh, he's already upgrading. He's already upgrading. He ain't wasting time. What about me? Am I upgrading? Am I upgrading? No, I'm still getting my supply. Whereas he has his supply already because he got there very quickly. He's got, ooh, got some idle workers. Very nice. Oh, we're going to kill some workers over here. So it's not finished yet. 44, 43, <gasps> 42. Where are these? What? Ah, he couldn't get to me with the horses because it was too tight. So he had to come all the way around to try and help. Yeah. I was going to look at the block this. Look at the block this. Just attack the bloody warriors with your workers. Jesus Christ, get rid of them. And he's down. Yes, ah, that was a good hit. 41. But he's ahead in tech. And the rush is over for now. I have another group coming. It should do a little bit of damage. I'm still be very behind. I'm still very behind. Mm, I, do, I had to deal with some issues with animals over here that I didn't quite clear out. And uh, we're back. What's this? Six. Six warriors. You're going to attack my man it with six warriors. Where he's got mammoth garden. He's got horses. And towers. You want to attack with six. Well, where's the rest of my troops? Have I upgraded? No, I still got it. I got food. Maybe I just... Oh, I only built two pits. I only built two pits, yeah. It's taking too long. Okay. Because I adapted. I thought, you know what? I'm not going to overextend here. I am going to... Take up as best as I can. Don't want horses coming into my base. No, sorry. Here come some warriors. They're still useful, don't worry about that. Don't know where these guys are going. I think I did, I was like, uh, didn't want them to just die. So I'm holding them back a bit. They're still bloody chasing the bloody boar. Where the workers I had? Where the workers gone? So that's the workers. I built some towers, because I know this is going to be like my central area. Just in case them horses want to pop down. But they're a bit scared. They don't want to leave their base because they know he knows there's warriors coming into his base. He's on f I'm on 50 workers. And 50 workers. Nice. He's got fish though. Where's my fish at? Where's my fish at? Where's my fish at? I ain't got the fish yet. Uh, I, got, I got three fish. Don't worry, I got fish too. We're still, we're still going, we're still going, come on. Come on. Here comes the warriors, such a long way, such a long way. I had a similar map like this the other day, it was even worse. It's a proper, all the way from one corner, all the way to the other side, it was ridiculous. I think that ended up being a bit of naval going on there as well. What's this? Tower, why am I building tower there? Being careful, that's what that is. He's a bit supply blocked. He's got units. Really? Okay, there he's getting, he's getting his houses. And finally, my warriors get here. And we're gonna do a little push over here into the wood line to mess up his wood line. Because his wood line is very good at the moment. My wood line is not great. Yeah, I it was scattered everywhere. My wood was scattered everywhere. Ridiculous. There we go. We're going. We're going. Has he got his vision upgrade? Can he see me coming? We don't know. I doubt it. Oh, it's got my map right there. <laughs> Tries to build a wall. Too late, my friend. Too late. It's too late, baby. It's too late. 
find the path. There's, there's a gap. Not for horses, though. Not for horses. The horses can't get through. Oh dear. Don't build horses if you can't get your horses in to defend. You have to go all the way around. All the way around. Meanwhile, completely stop him from getting in any food economy. A lot of wood economy is stopped in production. Let's see how this ends up now. He's, he's not even spending anything. So it's not really hurting him too much. It's iron that he needs the most. Should have went for his iron. There's no towers there. For God's sake. But still, nevertheless, we did kill 10 workers. That's, a, that's an accomplishment. Meanwhile, on the other side, we have a wall. Come at me now, bitch. What are you going to do? Nothing. I have a wall. Your horses are useless. And this is where we relax and chill. And we wait to see how each opponent builds. I'm pumping out loads of uh, piers, loads of boats. I am going eco hungry right now. And there's nothing he can do about it. You can build as many horses as you want, but them horses are not getting in to me base. I guarantee it. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Oh no, oh no. Yep, yep, yep. He's seen the wall. He's thinking, plan B? No, plan B is just, no, yep, now he's seen the wall. You're a bit buggered now, aren't you, mate? What are you going to do? Kill Creep. Thank you for killing the Creep for me. Oh, we have medieval buildings pumping. Supplies up. Is he building more units? Nah, there's no point, is there? Why on earth would you upgrade that wall? And what, like, that was just a complete waste. Uh, he needs to get more fish. He needs to get more piers. Oh, look at that, he's upgrading his fish. Just in time as my galleys get there. <laughs> what a waste! <laughs> what a waste. Dead. Oh, I think he might save a few down over here. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, no. Nah. That's when he has to switch the horse archers. I would have assumed my galleys beat the horse archers, but you know, what are you going to do? Damn. But at least it stopped him from fishing. That's that's good. That's good. So we're at medieval, west medieval. And we're heading up to the late medieval. Opponent on the other side. He's already there. Pumping out workers. Not building more warehouses to get more wood. Not that he needs any more wood. His food is alright. His, his food is not great. He needs to realise he's lost the naval war. He needs to get more on the food. Before he gets to industrial. Oh, he's heading for to industrial now. He's had enough. He's had enough. Can I get to industrial yet? Not yet. Not yet. My... Oh my god, look how much food I have. That's because I've got a ridiculous amount of boats. 19 boats! What do I need an army for? I've got a wall. A wall beats an army. Wall and towers beat army. Doesn't take any supply. 200 IQ. Mm. I built another wall. I built a wall. I built another wall. I built another wall just to make sure. No, I didn't build this wall in the end. It was too big. Killing all this creep for me so I can get that stone later. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, he's got he bought these warships. Take care of my galleys. And he's got some towers. Ah. Uh, naughty, naughty, naughty. Here they come to destroy my boats. Here they come to destroy my boats. Come on, industrial. Come on. Horsey, horsey, horsey. Horsey, horsey, horsey. Whoa, where's industrial that is struggling for a bit of iron? 
Will I catch up for industrial? Who will win the industrial war? I guess near, near to my buildings. Killed a few boats. They're doing alright, they're doing alright. And I'm industrial before him because my eco was better. But I gotta deal with these. Gotta deal with these warships. Bring in the archers. Bring in the galleys. And we're upgrading to get some machine gun trawler thingies. OP. And we're slowly walking towers to his base. And I want it. I want. I saw this from early. I thought, you know what? This iron is mine. This iron's mine. Let's go. You're not taking that iron from me. Ha! Warship's getting owned by galleys. Okay, maybe not completely. Could have. If I microed that a little bit better. But don't worry. I got the trollers coming. And I got my cannons coming. Should be getting light cannons. University's up. What's my man over here doing? He's got enough food, maybe to transform these now, or not. Oh yes, yep. Oh, he's gonna struggle. What did he just waste his food on? He just dumped food? Oh no, that was me, because I just switched right. Yep, he's got enough food to convert his horses to mounted horsemen. horsemen. Somehow, my worker here randomly got here, so I just decided to put a tower. I'll tell the tower to sneak it in, but he saw that. Oh, how did he just throw food all of that? That's, he must be getting more food with his Ah, oh, the rice farm's up. Yes. He's more on the rice farm. He's upgraded his uh, houses. So there's going to be military men coming. This is spam fest now. Is this... I wanted this because now, because I played so much China, I know the weakness. I know exactly what he's going to do. And I exactly had to stop it. But I'm going to play around with it as well. See how far I can push my defense. So at the moment, I've got these machine gun trawlers. Trawling the shores and just killing as much as it can as well. Can't be get too close because these have got range still. Oh, I can't even click it. Yeah. They have range, but these are better range. So I just gotta keep my distance a bit, move back as he comes in, so they don't they don't get shot. Get an arsenal, um, foreign supply, and he comes in for a push. And I've stupidly lost my trawlers. And I'm losing a light cannon. Oh, what a waste! What a waste! The spam! Spam attack. I swear the military men couldn't kill these. These to just bounce off. Am I am I imagining things? Or have they changed it? I don't know. I'm pretty sure artillery. Oh wait. That was the small artillery, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, okay. This is the small artillery, it's the big, big one. What are they called again? These are called. I don't know anymore. Cannon Tower. Yeah, they can kill the Cannon Tower. Trawler's trying to do as much damage as he can. Get out of the way! Get away! Get away! Uh, the spam continues. The spam continues. He's at 250 supply. He's comfortable. He's got his houses. He's got his eco boosting. It's all he has to do right now is get some soldiers and break the wall. But does he do it? No. He wants to stick to his spam of horses. And I guess he really wants the iron. Is this thing actually shooting? Are you shooting, buddy? No. It's not when you're this close. <laughs> Literally, he's safe here. He's completely safe here. How weird is that? That's just so weird. Got more machine gun trollers. Got light cannons. I'm gonna try and push out. I wanna take that iron back. Told you that iron is mine. But I need more troops. He's at 100, he's 166, so he won't be pushing anytime soon. He needs, he's probably waiting to uh, get his 
militant men count up again. Uh, meanwhile, he decides to go and kill a bit of creep so he can get his iron, I guess. Look at all these fish boats he has. Why are I killing them fish boats? We can't see them. Ah, he should have used fish boats to kill my boats while he was attacking as well. That would have been kind of cool. Never mind. So move forward. A bit too forward, mate. But I want to hold this line here. I want to hold this line. But I don't think I have the supply. You know, honestly, I need, I need to, I need that extra 35 units over there. And these more. Ideally, maybe a whole spam of machine gun towers. That would have been better. Yes. Because I got the supply. I mean, I got the economy. Just trying to get a bit of a surround going. This is just too small. This is just too small for this. It's numbers. It's the numbers game at the moment. It's just a numbers game. And he's going to surround me. Mount horsemen come in. Take out the cannons. The cannons are useless because they were just clumped up here. They should have been over here. Uh, that, was that was bad. By me. That was bad by me. But kill some maybe none of them we'll come and destroy all of this again we'll try and do some damage over here shoot with the light cannons trawlers stop him best I can make him retreat a bit so he can max out before he pushes again I know exactly what he's doing this is how I play, this is how I play China I know how you how you thinking Gets his iron up over here. <laughs> He's got no mines. So you can't exactly put a mine there. Whereas I have mines. Yes. I've got one there. Yet. I've got one there. So the iron is flowing. The iron is flowing. Just need more machine gun towers and we're good to go. is out. Uh, so I'm actually low on supply here. Still haven't got my houses. Still uh, struggling for iron I'd say. Whereas he doesn't need much iron does he? Does he even need iron for the horses? Nah it's just 20. It's nothing. Nothing. It's the military man. Is he going? It's a lot of military men. Why doesn't he bring the horses? Here comes the horses. Wasted here. This is good defense for me. This is good. This is good. Oh, they're coming charging in. Annihilation. Still got military men in there. Resetting my whole, whole thing here. The whole army. Look at that. He's down to 110 supply himself. I just pumped out a whole load of units, didn't he? Yeah, look at that. It's back up again. I'm 171. He's at 168. So I'm better supply. I mean, what's his? He's at 85 workers. I'm at pff, over 100, I guess. About 100. Maybe over 100. Yeah, over 100. And 14 bolts. I took out his supply, foreign supply depot, when I moved forward with the units. Didn't want him to have any of that. Definitely not. Don't want him to start pumping out howitzers or APCs or light can light tanks or whatever they're called. Uh, he's gone for a what's that doing over there? Ah, uh, spread over there. Oh nice, he put a warehouse so he can get that to you. Okay, clever. Yeah, he's played he's played China a bit, this guy. He's played it a bit. We are already IR2. He still hasn't got this iron. Oh, it's nearly finished anyway. There's only 388. That's not even worth it. What's happened to this one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I sent a bolt. Yes, I keep sending bolts. 
Little distractions. Little distractions while I kill these workers. Finally getting the rest of my houses to get to, to get to the max supply. And he is hasn't maxed out. Why is he not maxed out? He should be pumping out these military men. Non-stop. Non-stop. More houses. Just more houses. Thousand houses if you have to. Why? Because you could make food out of nothing. Out of food. You can make food out of food. So that means you, even when everything has run out in the whole map, you can still produce units that actually do decent damage in bulk. Is he doing that? No. But he has got the IR2 and his supply is increasing. Just needs to pump out a few more houses. And once he's maxed out, he can push quite hard. His food is on the edge. But he's got enough on there. He needs to keep, keep on top of that. Don't let that get down. You need to, uh, This is going to be a big push. This is a big push. We got 150 million to men and 59 mounted horsemen. Run, trawlers! Ah, get a few as you can. Get, kill a few as you run. Did they actually shoot that distance, dog? Ah, oh, you you've gone too far, mate. You've gone too far. Okay, I've got snipers, I've got snipers. It's going to be enough. Is he going to push me back? Is he going to reset me? He's, while this is happening, his eco is boosting. See, at this moment, what I would have done was waypointed all my houses and pumped out military men so I was always maxed. Because imagine if there was a stream of military men coming now to back this up. I would, we would have crushed all of this and, oh yeah, this is happening. This happened. So what? You can't use walls? You can't use doors? What's, what's going on there? Is it because of the towers there? Why didn't they go through? It's still not going through. But I know it is. Someone's got my PCs. Six decent damage. Yeah. These are good. These are good against China. Die. Alright, we've got some firepower now. We have some fire. What is this? He's got rocket launchers. Rocket launchers and soldiers. Bring out of iron. You didn't get your iron. Oh, you got your iron now. <laughs> he hasn't got much iron left. That's it. China does not rely on iron. You could try and get your iron stuff, but ideally, if it's a team game, I guess you wouldn't really want to get too much iron. You actually don't need any iron. Well, we don't soldiers, I guess. But that's nothing. It's nothing. 10, 10 iron, 10 soldiers. Oh yeah, no, horse, horsemen will get into that 20. In a little bit, but not too much, let's just say. Oh, this is so much firepower. I'm coming. Yeah, I'm like, yeah you can come. But these rocket launchers, these rocket launchers, they're doing all right. Oh, did they, did they? hits three kills what's this what's this who's this guy excuse me mate where you going mate what's the range in there 350 I don't know about 350 uh, you can't kill these with military men you just can't Squishy, squishy, squishy. Uh, it's getting late game now. The whole uh, macro gets a bit slacking. Uh, he didn't want to do that. He's going to run out of food soon. Trying to pump out constant military men. It can happen. You've got to be on top of the food. If you're not on top of the food, there's no military men for you. 
Ooh. I've got a few hits from that. I'm going to try and get over here. Oh, I just made it. How are we going to kill it? Oh, that ain't not going to kill that. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, you are hurt now. Really? Really? You want to do that? You want to do that? No, you don't want to do that. You want to run. Well, I have now submachine gunners. <laughs> submachine gunners and APCs for the win. And light cannons. I still need my light cannons. Where did I think of? Hmm, must have killed it. Right, he builds up his army again. We can do another push. Oh, you haven't maxed out, mate. You need to max out before you even attempt to try and push into this. You need soldiers. You need soldiers. You need submachine gunners. You need, you need more. You need 213 supply. Economy is nice. And we're good. We're good. You're not touching. You're not really touching my army. Well, you, can't, you can't touch these with me. They're just too good. Maybe light machine gunners, yeah, that's that's alright, but when did this was shooting me, this was killing my stuff, man. All I had to do was go over there and kill it, I didn't realise it. I didn't realise, can't see it. Let's have a look here. Whoop. A nice shot here. Yes. Run out of puff yet? Because <laughs> I know, I know, he's going to run out of puff. He's not going to have enough. He's going to let his food economy drain, not be on top of it. He's going to be overbuilding military men, running out of food, spamming as much as he can. Yeah, that's it, that's it. JJ! Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something. Until next time, see you later.